In today's tutorial, we're going to be going over how to make a quest. You see how there's already a bunch of events and stuff that I've created? That's because it's the second time I'm recording this video, because the first time the audio didn't record. So I'm just going to delete all these. And if you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials, and just general discussion about RPG Maker, then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so making a quest. We're going to start off by double clicking here and making a little girl. So we'll get her face graphic loaded and we'll just call this Quest Giver. And she's just going to say, I can't find my pet fox. Can you help me find him, lady? And we'll give the player a choice, yes or no. If you say no, Oh, that makes me sad. Now, if you say yes. Oh, thank you, lady. I hope you'll find him. And then what we're going to do is going to double click here and we're going to use control variables. Now, we'll have a variable here. I'll delete that one and retell it to you later. But we'll have a variable, number one, called Fox Quest. You just type it in down there. And we'll hit OK. What we want to do is set the variable of Fox Quest to a constant of one. And then hit OK. Then you want to click a new event page load up her graphic and over here in the conditions you want to tick variable and have fox quest you can select it through here fox quest greater than or equal to one and she's just going to say i hope you'll find him we'll hit okay and apply so now we've got a quest we need to find this little girl's pet fox we're going to go over into the town and just make another event over here we'll load up a fox image we'll give it a stepping and direction fix just for fun and we're going to only have that appear when Fox Quest is equal to or greater than one. So we'll add some text. This must be that brat's fox. Let's get it back to her. Hit OK. Then what we're going to do is play a sound effect. So over on page two, down in sound effect, and there's items. So we're going to play item one. Then we're going to show some text in the middle of the screen and dim. You've just kidnapped a domesticated fox. And OK. Then what we're going to do is double click one more time and under control variables we're going to set fox quest to a constant of 2. Then we're going to make a new event page and set this variable to 2. And nothing's going to happen here. Hit apply. What we're going to do is go back over to the house, make a new event page, load up her image again. And over here in the conditions, we want variable fox quest to be set to two. What that means is that this line is only going to play once variable fox quest is equaling two. She's going to say, Thank you for helping me find him. And another dim and middle text. You've just unkidnapped the fox. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make an event right here. Call this man. Now over in this event, we're going to set a movement route. So pulling that to the side. Over on page three, we're going to go movement route, man, then we're going to change his graphic. So change image, we'll change it to the man, it'll just be this one right here. We'll make sure he's facing up. And then he's going to go left, 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 up, 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 up. And wait for completion, we'll have that checked. Then he's going to say, that stinky poo fox of yours stole my coins and scattered them around the village. And she'll respond, Sorry mister, I'll help you find them. You'd better. Then he's just going to walk out again. So set movement route for the man. Down, 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 down. Right, 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 right. Turn down. Wait single second. And before we hit OK, we just want to make transparent on. And hit OK. Can you help me find this man's coins? Ugh, fine. Alright, now after this cutscene, what we're going to need to do is once again control variables and we're going to set Fox Quest to 3. Make a new event page with the variable Fox Quest equaling 3. If you don't find that man's coins, he will be angry with me. And we'll just leave that there for now. Now, another thing we want to do is right here, we want to create a new event page, control variable Fox Quest to equal three or more. And that means that he won't have any chance of being able to show up randomly. Now we're going to go over into the town and we're going to make an item for his coins that he's missing. So we'll go over into the database, down to items. As you can see, I've already made it. So it's man's coins. I've got an icon for it. It is a key item. There is no scope, never to be used, and it is not consumable. So we'll hit apply, then we'll create the event. So what we'll do is we'll create an image, which will be 
this shiny little thing over here with stepping and direction fix on frequency higher speed normal and what we're going to do is play a sound effect which will be that same item sound effect show some text in the middle of the screen you've found one of the man's coins and that'll be dim and in the middle then what we're going to do is change item add one of the man's coins and then we're going to control variable we're going to make a new variable called man's coin hit apply okay we're going to add by one and what this is going to do is every time you pick up a coin it's going to increase the variable so if you picked up two coins the variable will equal two if you picked up three coins the variable will equal three finally we're going to make a control self switch a and then new event page self switch a and the reason we do that is so you can't keep picking up the coins infinitely. Finally, we just want to make sure that the fox quest variable equals 3 before we save it. So these will only show up when this variable is equal to 3, when it's the right part in the quest. So we'll save that, we'll copy it all around and paste it. Then we want to go over to this man, we'll create a new event page, load up the man's image, and variable, we want to make sure fox quest is equal to 3. So we're going to hit OK. Show text. That girl better find my coins! And then what we're going to do is we'll add a conditional branch and if variable man's coin is equal to 4 then this scene will play. I've got your coins right here. Oh, thanks you! And then we're going to remove items man's coin we're going to decrease this by 4. Show some text dim middle you gave the man his coins. And then finally we're going to control variable fox quest set to 4 and hit OK. Just lastly here take this for your troubles. We're going to increase the gold by 100. Show some text again. You got given 100 gold. Now we want to create a new event page with the variable fox quest greater than or equal to 4. Load up his image. Show text. Thanks again for all your help. And then lastly we're going to go over to the house and where this little girl is, we're going to create one more event page with the variable of FoxQuest equaling 4. Load up her image. You're the best! Thanks for all your help! Finally, 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 we're going to go back over to Town 1. In the top left-hand corner, we're going to make a parallel process. And it's only going to activate when man's coin is equal to 4. And what's going to happen is some text will show up. I've got this man's coins now. Better return it to him. And after this message plays, you just want to control self switch A, new event page, control self switch A. And what that's going to do is after we've collected all the coins, she's going to say, hey, I've collected all the coins. Time to go hand it in. Now, if we click play, this should all go according to plan. But before I click this little play button, if you could scroll down and click that little like button, it really helps me get my videos out to more people. And let's go. I can't find my pet fox. Can you help me find him, lady? No. Oh, that makes me sad. Alright, we'll help her. I can't find my pet fox. Can you help me find him, lady? Yes. Oh, thank you, lady. I hope you'll find him. Alright, and now we can go find the pet fox. As you can see, now he's sitting over here in the corner. This must be that brat's fox. Let's get it back to her. You've just kidnapped a domesticated fox. Now he's disappeared, so we'll go return it to her. Thank you for helping me find him. You've just unkidnapped the fox. And there's the man walking up. That stinky poo fox of yours stole my coins and scattered them around the village. Sorry, mister. I'll help you find them. You'd better! And there he goes. Can you help me find this man's coins? Ugh, fine. If you don't find that man's coins, he'll be angry with me. Alright, let's go find the coins. And now, as you can see, all these little flashies have appeared around. So we'll go collecting them. Now when we click this last coin, a message will appear. I've got this man's coins now. Better return them to him. Now we'll go over to this man and return his coins. 
That girl better find my coins. I've got your coins right here. Oh, thanks you. You gave the man his coins. Here, take this for your troubles. You were given 100 gold. And now if we go into the menu, we can see the 100 gold over here in the corner. If we talk to him again. Thanks again for all your help. And now if we go talk to the little girl. You're the best. Thanks for all your help. In the next tutorial, we're going to be going over how to add and remove NPCs from the party. That way, you can have characters appear all throughout your story and know how to add them into the party. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial because it's the second time I've recorded it, and I will see you in the next video.